how jolly of you to join me on episode 23. And look at this, it's the third mini micro set in the smallest form factor. And this is a very special one. It's a full touch screen. To access the CD and tape, you fold down the whole screen. And it's the same size, height and width as the previous two. Let me show you. Here is the set from 1994. Then the set from 95 or 6, I forgot. And then the set from 97. I think there's a major design flaw here. And that's the LEDs and the separate display and the timer button. Of course, it should have all been blank, except perhaps one power button. And I am actually missing an eject button that motorizes the fold down of the touchscreen. So this was in 1997 and I started using a computer for the first time in 1997. So for the first time, you're going to see something digital now on this channel. And there we are. This is the screen you get after a power outage or the first time you turn the unit on. Thanks to the information on the touchscreen, this device does not require a manual. In this pixel drawing made in paint on Windows, you see the screen for the CD player. The CD player has a CD text, as you can see. And the question mark answers all your questions. Since it's a touch screen, you don't need all buttons at the same time. So there's a dot 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 button for extra options of the CD player, which is actually a three CD changer. And this is the screen of the apparently dual cassette deck. All that in that small unit, hmm. It looks all very Windows, very 90s. But a lovely novelty product, especially in 1997. I think I tried to pack this unit with a bit too much. I even see a Dolby Pro Logic sign up there. Anyway, back to paper. <sighs> so much nicer, actually. We'll continue with paper for quite a while. See you in the next episode.